Hey guys, it's China, and today we are going to DIY travel jewelry cases. We're going to start off with the necklaces. So first you want to get a sponge, a piece of paper to paint over, um, whatever folder you have at home. This one I got from Ikea and it folds all together. You'll need some fabric, pipe cleaner, E6000, and felt. This is 12 by 18 plus paint, of course. So I started by painting mine. This is completely optional because I wanted mine to match the felt. And I'm sorry, the, excuse me, not the felt, but I wanted mine to match the fabric. So what you want to, what you want to do is get the pipe cleaners and lay them out to kind of gauge how many um, necklaces you want to fit in your holder. Uh, fold the pipe cleaners in half, cut it. Fold that piece in half, and that is going to serve as your anchor. And you're going to want to do this for both sides of your folder. So it looks something like this. Now it's time to glue it down. Grab your E6000. I actually realized that you can do this a lot easier with spray adhesive. Using E6000 for me was very messy. But back to the E6000. I used the line, uh, then I put a dab of glue and then put another line and put another dab of glue and then put the pipe cleaners down and then put another dab of glue on top of that and just kind of did it one by one. Um, I would suggest again using spray adhesive. It's so much easier and you can use pretty much the same method and just go one by one and just kind of roll the fabric over it. But either way works perfectly fine. Use whatever you have in your house um, and Keep in mind, we will, we will be doing three folders. Um, you can definitely mix and match these to create your own. So once all the anchors get down, it's going to look like this. If you have longer necklaces, try to fold them in half as much as possible. If it doesn't reach, let the portion that's hanging hang from the top. So when you hold it up, it'll be at the top. For wider necklaces like this, turn them to the side so that you can utilize your space. And this is what it looks like when you open it up. I put a piece of felt in there so that it would not rub together. Now we're doing the earring holder. Grab your, uh, first what I did was took three sheets from my particular folder. I took three sheets of the 12 by 18 uh, felt paper and I put the E6, and I sold it down first. Then I put the E6000 on the back and for this one I would suggest using E6000 because if you don't put it down in the right place, you can definitely pick it up to move it to where you need it to go before it dries because it does take E6000 a little while to dry and I chose to use E6000 for this one because my earrings are pretty heavy so once you get it in place just press it down um, let it dry for a few moments and then you can start putting your you can actually start putting your earrings on while it's drying so that's what it looks like when it's closed when you open up the folder um, you'll see I have that insert that holds my hoop earrings and those are the rest of my earrings on the First and last pages that hold earrings, there is Velcro to hold the page up because they're so heavy it was causing the uh, felt to fold. Alright, so now we're going to do bracelets, watches, and rings. This one's a lot easier. Uh, you'll just take uh, about two inches of your felt and fold it and make little slits. This is going to serve as your bracelet portion of your folder. I started using the ribbon that I had at home because I ran out of pipe cleaner. And you'll just cut pretty lengthy strips of the um, ribbon to make sure that your it'll wrap around your bracelets. And you'll also do um, something pretty similar for the watches. For the watches, you'll just do it at the top and bottom so that they can alternate from each other. And you'll see what I'm talking about in a moment. With the fabric, you'll want to roll the fabric, spray some spray adhesive on it, and then cut off the excess. These are going to serve as your ring holders. Um, make the edges as straight as possible. Um, spray down your spray adhesive. Put the ring holders on first. Spray the spray adhesive again. This is what I was talking about for the necklaces and using the pipe cleaners. Um, and then you'll want to put your felt on top of that. And it dries like instantly, so you can work with it as soon as possible. This one, I um, went ahead and put Velcro on the ends of the ring holders so that it would stay in place. And the Velcro is flexible, so you can definitely pinch it together, as you'll see me doing here, and slide the ring over it very easily. 
and you'll just add all of your accessories and add all of your jewelry and you'll end up with these awesome awesome folders that you can actually travel with and they're thin so it doesn't take up a whole lot of space and you don't have to worry about your jewelry getting tangled um, with the watches you'll see me going back and forth with those as I mentioned earlier and that's just so if they move they don't hit each other when it comes to bracelets like these what you can do is put a piece of uh, velvet over or fabric over put the bracelets down and then I close this one a little bit differently to ensure that everything would remain inside so there you have it you have three folders now or you can make one again and just make it your own and they're all about this a little bit bigger than the size of my hand so there you have it i hope this was helpful please rate comment and subscribe and don't forget to share and i'll see you later bye And just before you go, click here to watch the previous video.